I don't blame anybody when we play a third period like that. Were you pleased at least with the, the first two periods and how the team was looking? Sure. I, was, I mean, we, we uh, controlled the first period. We had a, a few spurts in the second where we kind of had some lapses and, and they came hard, but uh, we managed to kind of keep it together. And again, anytime you go in the third period with a three goal lead, uh, you know, you'd take that and start the game. So. How'd you have to uh, adapt after uh, Ammerman left with a hand injury? Yeah, I, I, I mean, that's a bad loss. And, uh, you know, yeah, I hope other people step up and, and play some more minutes and, and take over that role. Um, again, with a short bench and uh, some other girls with some other minor injuries, you know, they're tired. It's, uh, you know, but, you know, everyone's in the same situation. They're rolling three lines as well, so it's, there's no excuses. Is Ammerman going to travel to Japan with you? Or? I, don't, I don't know. I can't answer um, that. How does it feel to... I would think so. How does it feel to break through the power play after you know after having so much trouble? I don't know if I call it a breakthrough, but I mean, I know we scored one. Um, it's just it's got to be better. It has to be better. Did you know that Jenny had never done a shootout before? No, I didn't. I didn't. I mean, maybe they didn't even have shootouts when she played college, That's so I, I could I could out, assume. Yeah. yeah, she did good. Yes. Yeah. Talk about the play of uh, Miss Ketchum tonight. What you were able to see from her, Miss Bray, and how she was able to do for you and the team. Yeah, she, she played well, she skates well, she handles the puck, she's ace well, so uh, she had one of her better games. What did you think of uh, Belyakova from her second game back from injury? She, you know, she looked like she was a big difference maker tonight with zone entries and making things happen. Yeah, she's got tons of skill, so um, she's definitely uh, looked better than uh, last game, again, getting her timing and getting in shape and, and just being on the ice more often, so uh, she, she was definitely better tonight. Uh, were you happy with Weber's game? We picked up the two primary assists. It really looked like she was moving well. Are we going to name every player on the list? <laughs> oh, I'm just naming the ones I wrote down. Um, yeah, I mean, you, you know what you're going to get from Janine every night. You know, she's consistent. She, she's one of our top face-off, uh, our top centermen. Um, again, she's just, she, you know what you're going to get from her every night. She works hard. She does little things well. What do you think the biggest adjustment will be for you and the team as you head over to Japan, aside from the time and everything else? What do you think the biggest adjustment will be? Yeah, like you said, the time will be the biggest adjustment and the size of the rink. Um, uh, it's going to be it's, it's a short trip in and out, three games. Uh, again, we're battling injuries, uh, limited players, a big ice. I'm sure they're going to have four lines and six or seven D. And, uh, you know, we'll just go over and enjoy ourselves and kind of start our Christmas break and have a good rather, time. Would you rather the team not have to make that trip? No, I mean, I think it's, I mean, obviously, I don't want to go over there and, and lose players because, of, you know, they're tired and getting hurt. Um, but, you know what, we'll play smart. I mean, we're not going over there to prove anything. Um, you know, again, to kind of start our Christmas vacation, go play a few games and, and let the girls enjoy themselves. What do you think the opportunity, this will be to you and the team, what do you think it'll mean for the team to have this opportunity to go to Japan? Do you think it'll help the team bond? Do you think it'll help the team improve? I, I guess what are your hopes as you go? Yeah, I mean, we're not going to get any, I mean, the time you travel for 14 hours and the time change, you're not going to get there and have three or four good practices to really work on anything. We're, we probably won't even do a system. Um, we'll just get them moving on the ice. Um, if anything, like you said, it's, it'll be a good bonding experience.